Welcome to Zero Experience Required, and today we're going to be switching out a storm door handle with something that looks a little nicer. For this task, you'll need a drill bits, a drill, and a screw gun. Majority of the instructions for this, how to switch it from a right-handed configuration over to a left-handed. You just pull out this gasket. This one just rotates. This one's a little more complicated because you have to pull down, pull out both these pieces and turn that. And then it will point the other way. And you reinstall the pieces. And now, with the deadbolt, it points the other way. The last bit is to uh, pull out the handles. So as you can see, there's screws down in these axles to um, release the handles and you just switch which side it goes to. Easy peasy. And the rest of the parts are relatively easy. If you have a thicker door, you use these, which are longer, and if you have a thinner door, you use these. These are the screws that hold the pieces together. They just go through here and screw in like that. And that's what holds it to the door. These are the axles that go through and translate the motion of the lever between the two pieces. The last bit is the catch, which is this. This just screws into the wall, so the deadbolt and the latch will catch on it. And then it comes with spacers that can go between it and the wall in case it's not catching quite right. If it's too far away, you can use these to move it closer. And that's all those parts, that's all they're used for. And the last bit in the box is the template for drilling. And it tells you you need a 5 16th and a half inch drill bit. And you need to drill exactly in these three holes. What I do is I cut that out of the instructions and I tape it to where I'm gonna drill. Now why I'd use those shims is if this bar, they call it the Z bar, sticks out greater than 3 8 you're gonna have to offset your template and then that makes it so they won't catch. So that's what those shims are for. Naturally, you'll want to read the instructions just to make sure that you're doing everything right. When figuring out how to place, where to place this, you want to make sure you're, that where you're putting it does not hit the doorknob and will prevent it from closing. Now that we know what we're doing, let's take the old handle off because that's a piece of junk. Now we put the template on. It has instructions on how to cut it, so make sure you follow those. But what I first do is I drill a pilot hole with a much smaller drill bit than is required on both sides. This makes it so you can get a much better positioning of the bigger drill bits since those tend to walk. When you move the template to the second side, you want to make sure it's at the exact same height as it was on the first side. Otherwise your holes won't line up and it won't work. By drilling the pilot hole on both sides, this makes it so your hole will be perfect going through. You get, break through the first side, you line it up, and then you drill through the second side. And that's how you do it. You'll get a perfect result every time doing that. So once you've finished with the middle hole, or the final hole, then you'll need to start assembling it. I tend to put the first front plate on, and then I put in the uh, axle to help rotate it, and then I just ha lift up the handle and then put in the screws. It's real simple at this point. What's interesting is I can stop right here because this Z panel is catching everything. But I'm going to put in the catch anyways. You probably want to be more precise than I am on this one. I just kind of wing it where the uh, striker plate's going to go. And it worked well for me. But you want to make sure that it's far enough over so it will actually catch. So once you have the striker plate completely installed, you're done. That was easy. Thank you for watching Zero Experience Required. 
And if you liked the video, like it, subscribe. If I did anything wrong, comment below.